These scriptures like a road map, picture perfect Kodak Alabama folding chair upside your head, whole lap Remember Moses and them two Egyptian soldiers, don't, don't let, let me go, go back. back Hats off, nations of kings and priests, no cap, no cap, no cap, no cap, no cap You sure about that? Let's deal with one question at a time. Mexican. 
he's a so-called Mexican, right? Because right. Mexican is a title. Your people was well, conquered. From Mexico, right. Okay, but either way, it's a title. When you look up your nationality, it's your card. Okay. He is a it's a card. Part, okay. Right, which is a part of the 12 tribes of children of Israel. So you is an Israelite, brother. Okay. Yeah. So now you are Paul. Do we then make void the law through faith? Mm. God forbid. Yea, we establish the, the law. law. What do you do? Uh, we Yay, we so establish the law. law. Establish the law. So now what? Don't so work. So that we're, saved. Saved. we're saved by the law. We're saved by the law. Huh? We're saved by the law. Then. Works plus faith. Right. This is in the book of James, chapter 2, verse 17. Who is James? Who is James? Who is James? The brother of Jesus. And where, right. where, where's this book at? The half the brother of Jesus. Where's this book at? The New Testament. Okay, right. it's down there what? At the end, right? Yeah, towards the end. Keep going. Right now. This is the book of James, chapter 2, verse 17. Uh-huh. Even so, faith, if it hath not works. What? If it hath not works. I thought you said works is dead. It's only about faith. No, That's what you said. No, sir. Mm. Mm. That's what you said. No, sir. Bring it out. It works. Is the result of faith, not not to get to you. Yeah. Let, let's see what this says. The result. Yeah. If someone is a Christian and if someone is a genuine believer in Christ, they will show good fruits. Okay, so what's the not at? the good fruits makes them saved. Understand that. Where's the works at? Their fruits. Jesus you're himself not, said. You're not understanding me. Jesus himself you're said. You will know them by their fruits. That's what Jesus said, right? Because want to talk about Jesus. faith in works you will know them by their fruits. Hand. You just said yeah, you only be faith. That's what you said. Right. The first step. You're yeah. preaching a false gospel. Right? Even preaching so, a false gospel. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't go nowhere. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Here they go. Here they go. Here they go. Here they go. Here they run. They run. They run. They run. Come over here, brother. Look, look. Deal with me. Deal with me, brother. Calm and cool. We ain't gonna yell. Calm and cool. Come here, brother. Come here. Come here. 
Come here, I'm gonna show it to you. Come here. I'm not gonna yell with you. Come here, bro. Just calm down. Just listen. He was a little bit high, but come here. Come here, brother. I'm gonna show you love. I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna let you speak and listen to every word you say. I ain't gonna say nothing. Come on. Different gospel. All right, come on, come on. There are. Come over here so we can dialogue. When you talk, I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't gonna say one word. I ain't gonna say one word. You can't receive. I ain't gonna say nothing. Go back to Rome. Loving her, dad. <laughs> hey, give me that for you real quick. You love you, man. You just said all these have Man, kids, they do it different. The book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 4. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. What the Bible said? had a bed or whatever. Every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Right? Go ahead. Then the devil taketh him up. Into the holy city. Go to Proverbs chapter 2, verse 7. Go to Proverbs chapter 4, verse 4. Somebody give me Proverbs chapter 19, verse 6. <coughs> this is how we're going to do it, man. When you're dealing with these quizzes, you got to kind of, you got to kind of like rub them a little bit on the shoulder. Right, I, Say, I seen the video with this. It was a, a raccoon and a cat, and the guy, the raccoon, was like, "Yeah, man, yeah, 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 come here, man, yeah, yeah. come here." Move, 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 move. That's how you do a Christian, man. You do a Christian the same way. You kind of like, "Oh yeah, 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 yeah," and then you grab him in that chokehold and you don't let him go. Because if you do it early, they're gonna run away. Kind of, kind of deal with him. That's why I can talk to Christian for about a two hours. Right. So read that real quick. Proverbs 72. <laughs> the book of Proverbs. Now they don't gonna come and deal. Look at him. He wanna come, but he think we yeah, go ahead. Chapter 7, verse 2. Uh-huh. Keep my commandments. What the Bible says? Keep, keep my, my commandments. commandments. Read. And live. And do what? And, and live. live. The Bible says if you keep God's commandments, you're gonna live. Go That's ahead. And my law uh -huh. as the apple of thy eye. And the law is the apple of the eye. Right? Go to Proverbs 4 and 4. Go to Proverbs 19 and 16. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 4 and verse 4. He taught me also and said unto me. Said unto me what? Let thine heart retain my words. Let my heart do what? Let, Let thine heart, heart retain, retain my, my words. words. Keep my commandments. What? Keep, keep my commandments. commandments. What the Bible says? Keep, keep my, my commandments. commandments. The Bible tells us keep the commandments, man. That's right. And live. And do what? And, and live. live. Keep God's commandments, you're going to live. But if you keep don't keep, up. what's the opposite of not keeping something and living? Die. If you Die. don't keep it, that's death. That's that's right? right. Give me Romans chapter 6, verse 22. Go ahead, read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 19, verse 16. Uh-huh. He that keepeth the commandment. He that do what? He, he that, that keepeth, keepeth the, the commandment. commandment. He that keepeth the commandment. Go ahead. Keepeth his own soul. Keepeth what? Keepeth keep his, his own soul. soul. When you keep God's commandment, you keep your soul. That's right. right. Go ahead. But he that despises it. Who that despises it what? His ways shall die. You're going to die, man, if you don't keep God's commandment. That's right. That's just the bottom line. Right, read that. This is the book of Romans, Proverbs, chapter, chapter 6, verse 23. Uh -huh. For the wages of sin is death. death. The wages of sin is what? Death. For the wages of sin is, is death. death. If you don't keep God's commandments, you're going to get put to death. That's right. Right, read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 13, chapter verse 13. Bring it out. Whosoever, Shalakia, whoso despiseth the word. Whoever despise the word, go ahead. Shall be destroyed. Shall be what? Shall, shall be, be destroyed. destroyed. Shall be what? Shall, shall be, be destroyed. destroyed. So if you despise what we bringing out, you're going to be destroyed. Go ahead. But he that feareth the commandment. He that do what? He that, that feareth, feareth the, the commandment. commandment. Read. Shall be rewarded. Shall be what? Shall, shall be, be rewarded. rewarded. Shall be rewarded. Man, this is easy. What's so hard about that? Easy as we count the one, two, three. Go ahead. The law of the wise is a fountain of life. The, the law of the wise is what? A fountain of life. Go ahead. To depart from the snares of death. Right. Now read that in Luke. This is the book of Luke, 
chapter 13 and verse 3. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, you repent what? Ye shall all likewise perish. Either you keep the commandments, or if you don't, you're going to die. Simple as that. Simple as that. Right? Go ahead, read that. Go to Deuteronomy. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 1. Uh -huh. Now, therefore, hearken, O Israel. What the Bible said? Now, therefore, hearken, hearken O Israel, Israel. Read. unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you. Uh -huh. For to those, for to do them, that ye may live. That what? That, that ye, ye may, may live. live. See how easy that is? You either do it so you can live. You don't want to live, go eat your little nasty pork, your shrimp. And be in the heart of, and be in the hospital having a damn heart attack on the damn on the damn uh, surgery table. Because if you keep the commandments, you're gonna live. But if you despise God's word, you're gonna die, man. Yeah. All right, read that. Deuteronomy 8. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8, verse 1. Uh -huh. All the commandments uh -huh. which I command thee this day uh -huh. shall ye observe to do. To do what? That ye observe to do, that ye may live. That mean you may what? That ye may live. How many scriptures that say the commandments you gonna live, bro? You can go all night. You can be out here to like the ten o'clock, twelve o'clock tomorrow night. Still reading. It. That ain't nothing gonna change, man. Uh -huh. The word of God do not change, man. That's right. You know who changed? You. Christianity. The book of Matthew, chapter 16, verse 19, red letter. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bind in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. And behold. Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him. It's enough, brother. It's enough. Go ahead. Good master. You believe in the Bible, brother? You believe in what Christ said? Come here, let me tell you something what Christ said real quick. Let me tell you what Christ said. You say you believe in Christ, right? Let's see what Christ said. Go ahead. Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So this is a question by a man. He asked Christ, and everybody should ask, Christ, what I got to do that I can have eternal life? He going to get an answer. Right, go ahead. Verse 17, and he said unto him, Christ said to the man, go ahead. Why callest thou me good? Uh -huh. There is none good but one, uh -huh. that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, but if you want to have everlasting life, what do you got to do? Keep the commandments. What you got to do? Keep, keep the, the commandments. commandments. Say, keep, keep the, the commandments. commandments. The Bible says you got to keep the commandments. You agree with the Bible. Right, so what are some of God's commandments that we require? Ken, what, 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 what the fourth commandment? Are you good? Are you good? Go to Exodus 20. Fourth commandment. If you keep the fourth commandment, because a lot of people they say we gotta keep ten commandments, but they don't they don't they break the fourth one. Read that. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 8. Read. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. What's the day? Huh? Do you go to church on Sunday? Is that the Sabbath day? Yeah. So let's see what the Bible says. Because a lot of people go, they neglect keeping the Sabbath day. That's a commandment, one of the ten that you made. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Go to Genesis chapter. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. 
But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. What's the seventh day of the week? So what's the Sabbath day? That's one commandment our people break. You're probably doing it not knowing unwillingly. Because you know who changed the Sabbath day to Sunday? You ever heard of Constantine? He was a he was a, a, a Roman uh, 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 like a like a pope. He was a pope. And when he came in, he got his uh, uh, pope pope chip. They, the pope believe they can change what God's word thinks. It's just called the papacy. I mean, they can reverse. And the, on earth, they got more authority on the earth than God. You know, Constantine got in there. You look it up on Google. He changed the Sabbath day to Sunday. God says, I changed not. I don't care. So who are we going to listen to? God or Constantine? So God says, keep the Sabbath day. You're going to start keeping the Sabbath day or you're going to start going to church. You're going to keep it on Sunday. Oh, no, hold on, go to Acts chapter 5. It ain't hard. It's real. 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 This is the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, This is Peter with the apostles. What did they say? We ought to obey God rather than men. We're going to do what? Obey God rather than men. men. So what you going to do, brother? You going to obey God or you going to obey your Christian pastor? Because look, at the end of the day, God going to be sitting there in the judgment seat. Your pastor ain't going to be there with you. He's not going to be your protector. Oh, oh, he was listening to me. The day of your judgment, you're going to be there alone. Your wife ain't going to be there. Yeah. Your kids ain't going to be there. You're going to be God, the angel, and Christ. They're going to ask you, brother. You say, the fourth, the fourth commandment was the Sabbath day when the brother asked you. You said it was hard. Peter just said, I'd rather obey God rather than what a man said. God said, let's see what God said. Go to Genesis chapter 2 and 1. 1 and 2. 2 and 1. Read that real quick. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 1. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished. So this is God. He's given the example. He created the heavens and the earth. He created in six days, right? And all the host of them. And on the seventh day. On the seventh day, what did he do? God ended his work. God stopped working. Which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day. He rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made, and God blessed the seventh day. God blessed the seventh day. So when you go to church on Sunday, you call that, why do you call it a Sunday? Look it up. It's called sun worship. Back in ancient days, that's what they did. They used to worship the sun. He could go out and pray to the sun. They would pray like that to God. Somehow, in Christianity, they used to pick up and burn off. They used to do it on wings. God said, you should say, wings, and I'm getting it. But they just said, wings, and I'm not getting it. All right, but now you know, God kept it. He 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 kept it. Right. Read that real quick. I'm going to show you what they're fine. This is, hold on, one more scripture. This is after Christ died. Because the Christian church, they're going to say, when Christ died, the Sabbath turned into Sunday. This is the apostle after Christ died and rearranged. Let's see what they do. The book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 13. Now, when Paul and his company loosed from Paphos, they came to Perga. They coming together. Let's see what they do. In Pamphylia. And John, departing from them, returned to Jerusalem. But when they departed from Perga, they came to Antioch in Pisidia and went into the synagogue. They went into the church, right? Go ahead. On the Sabbath day. On what day? On the Sabbath day. On what day? On the Sabbath day. Peter and Paul and all the apostles still the Sabbath day. After Christ died. 
They still want to do their own thing, no matter what. No they matter scared what. to go to their pastor and say, Pastor, I'm not with you, man. That's I'm doing what, what the Bible says. Read that Deuteronomy 39. Go to Mark. Get up! Matthew chapter 30. No, 30 and 19. 28 and 1. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. This day was recorded because he couldn't even tell me. I said, brother, you're going to change for God or you're going to do it for me. Well, I get to go. I got that up. Teach up. Come on, man. You're going to be judged by every idle word come out of your mouth, man. Go ahead. That I have set before you life and death. Yep, the Bible said before him what? Life, life and, and death. death. Uh -huh. Blessing and cursing. Uh -huh. Therefore, choose life. Bible told that dude to choose life. That's right. That both thou and thy seed may live. You're gonna get put to death. You that, don't want to change. Go ahead. That thou and thy seed may live. That thou mayest love the Lord thy God. And that thou mayest obey his voice. And that thou mayest cleave unto him. For he is thy life. Right. You gotta obey what God say because he is your life. He is your creator. That's right. Not man, not your pastor. The hell with your damn pastor, man. He's going to lead you to death and destruction. That's right. He's going to lead you down that road. He ain't going to be standing with you. Christ, and them going to put that judgment on you. Go ahead. And the length of thy days, that thou may dwellest in the land, which the Lord shall swear unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give them. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 28 and verse 1. In the end of the Sabbath. In the end of the Sabbath. Where we at? In the end of the Sabbath. the end of the Sabbath. the sun going down, right? Go ahead. As it began to dawn. It's beginning to dawn, man. Go ahead. Towards the first day of the week. What is Sunday? Towards the first day of the week. Sunday is the first day of the week, man. Sunday is not the Sabbath. That's right. These scriptures like a road map. Picture perfect Kodak. Alabama folding chair upside your head. Whole lot. Remember Moses and them two Egyptian soldiers. Don't let me go back. Hats off. Nations of kings and priests. No cap. No cap. No cap. No cap. No cap. No cap. 